folks, Karen here, and I haven't done a video in some time because I just haven't felt up to doing much lately. So I was on the phone with a friend of mine today and I was telling her, you know, I just don't know what to do with myself. But pretty much all I've been doing lately is, well, aside from doing some research for our new real estate investment company that we're in and we're just in the beginning stages being mentored so once in a while we go out and do you know drive around and look for vacant properties and um, contact different boroughs to see if there's any vacant properties there so I've been listening to some videos and reading some ebooks that have to do with real estate investment but other than that <laughs> I just really haven't been doing anything at all. And she mentioned to me that it's probably depression. And that's pretty understandable because I only have like two, three hundred subscribers on this channel. So it's not very many. And um, so I told her, I said, well, maybe what I'll do is just concentrate on this channel a little bit and just talk about whatever <sighs> because I've, I've really been out of sorts lately this past well this year has been a little tough I um well last year I thought I was having a heart attack and it actually ended up being pretty severe bursitis in my arm, but the pain went like across my chest, down my arm, and I really thought I was having a heart attack. So I went to the hospital and they kept me in all day, did a lot of tests, and it ended up not being that. So I went to a specialist, had an MRI done, and here was bursitis. So that shut down. Well, I had already shut down my transcription business because I was really having a hard time with my arm and my wrists. So I sh had already shut that down and was doing the laminated bookmarks. But when this started with my arm and I thought I was having a heart attack, <laughs> it was like, I can't do this anymore because I ended up being in a splint for a while until I got to the specialist and got the MRI done and found out it was bursitis. But even leaving it in the splint just really seemed to help a lot. So I was left to doing things with one arm. Well, in the process of doing things with one arm, this arm got tendonitis. <laughs> Age has not been fun for me. So I know I started falling into a bit of a depression when I was in my old office, which was downstairs, because I couldn't get upstairs. I, I've been having a real problem with my legs, my knees, and my ankles swelling. So it had gotten to the point where when I got downstairs in the morning, I didn't go up the steps again until it was time to go to bed. Now the thing is we're on a bi-level house. So when you come in the front foyer, you have a choice from the front door. You either go up the steps to the upper level, which is the main house, or you go downstairs to the lower level where the family room and the office was and the washer dryer, etc. So you don't have a choice in this house. No matter what, you get out of the house or come in the house, one, you, you got to have steps. And of course, 10 and a half years ago when we bought this place, I didn't know that. <laughs> so now between the Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disease, and the arthritis, which it's very minimal, the arthritis in my knees, but it's exacerbated with the autoimmune disease. And then fibromyalgia on top of that and menopause <laughs> and not being able to take the medications that I'm supposed to be on for the menopause because of high rate of cancer in our family. I won't go near the hormone replacements. And then with the fibromyalgia, there's contraindications for those medications and the side effect profiles 
I just won't go near those medications either. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just kind of left with a leave and dealing with it. Um, so, but anyway, I've just kind of been bleh, <laughs> you know, and so last month, because I wasn't able to get up, up and down the steps anymore, unless it's a real emergency, then I'll just like tolerate it. But it's not like I can go up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down the steps all day. That's just not happening. And we're not in a position right now to move because we have a really nice piece of property. We raise livestock. So hubby has to have his barn and we won't give that up. Uh, actually, we might just replace the house if I can't get a stair glider in here or whatever. I don't know. That's another thing that's got me confused. I just don't know what I'm doing. But uh, my grandson was over about a month or so ago. And I said, you know, while you're here, help your pop pop move me upstairs. So this way I'm all on one level kitchen, my food, my coffee, get in the shower. My office now is in what was our spare bedroom and it's right across the hall from our bedroom. So that's great. <laughs> we had one kid move out. He's married and has his own place up north. And my stepdaughter still lives with her mom, but she's and she's not here as much as she used to be now because she's working. But when her brother moved out, she took his bedroom, which left this one open. So now I'm upstairs. So it's nice and cozy. I love it. I've got my, you know, everything I need right here in my little home office. And I can get up and go out to the living room and watch TV. I can go to the kitchen. I've got my bed and shower right across the hallway where our bedroom is. So that's a good thing. But now I'm relatively housebound. Here I am. <laughs> if I'm not in my office, I'm in my kitchen, in bed, or out in the living room. But that's the extent of it. Uh, that has left my husband to do the laundry. And then he brings it up for me and I fold it and put it away. I don't take the dog out anymore. He does that because the only lower level yard access from the upstairs is two flights of down steps downstairs. That's not working. Um, like I said, if it's a real emergency, I will grit my teeth and I'm usually crying by the time I get downstairs. So, um, about once a month, I tolerate it and I go out to go to our real estate meetings. If I'm having a good day, if my fibromyalgia is actually giving me, a, you know, isn't bothering me too much and I'm having a decent day, um, yeah, my husband will help me get down the steps and I'll go out for a drive or like we have a birthday party coming up for my other granddaughter. So things like that. But generally now I am upstairs and relatively housebound because uh, steps are not working for me anymore. And, I, and a lot of people do when they get older, they downsize or you know had we you know hindsight is 2020 had we known almost 11 years ago that this was going to happen with the autoimmune and the arthritis and the fibromyalgia we would have kept looking and found a ranch house so I would have been able to get in and out of my house <laughs> but uh, Hindsight is the only 2020 hindsight you have. And when we found this place, we got such a great deal on it that we actually couldn't pass it up. I mean, it, it was it was a really, really good deal in an ideal location. And we didn't have to worry about school districts. Yeah, but we're in the suburbs. We're actually on a little farm at. But anyway, that's what's been going on is... I only have one blog left that I keep kept going. My other blogs I shut down because 
I'm just going through a whole, I just don't feel like doing anything. And um, now the weather's, the the winter weather, we're in Pennsylvania, so <laughs> the winter weather's coming and um, it really starts to bother me. The winter weather really starts to bother me um, as far as my joints and stuff. But I just thought, you know, I haven't posted any videos on this channel for about five months. And um, so I thought I would do that. I stopped doing my nail art. I still do my nails. But I don't get into the nail art. Um, I still have my vaporizers. I'm still using these. These were an actual godsend. These keep me going off the, the really deep end of things. <laughs> These help. <laughs> they really do. Uh, but that's that's about all that's going on right now. Um, maybe I'll just start doing videos just to see if anybody responds to me. And... Um, has anything to say, responses, whatever. But I just really haven't been feel like doing anything lately. And that's that. Whereas this one vid this one guy I watch his videos, I'll leave that there. <laughs> Have a good one.